Yo, what's poppin', realest one? So Smack did let it be known, he did put it out there that the UIL was gonna be doing this sooner than later. You know what I'm saying? Taking some of the battles from the UIL TV app and putting them on YouTube. That UIL was coming back to YouTube. Now, from him saying that, I assumed he meant it was going to be like a for now on type of thing. But from what I'm seeing now, it's for the week leading up to Summer Madness, which I ain't hating on either. Because, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people who still watches the app. Um, Like every two months, I check the app out to see what's popping with it, to see what's new on there. And maybe to watch some of my favorite battles. You know what I'm saying? I try not to make a big deal about getting the app because it ain't going to make a difference, quite frankly. Right. But I feel like what this is, is this is a play for them to try to get the fans back on their side. To try to get back in the good graces of the fans. Because, you know, this has been a real critical time for them. This has been a real, like, iffy time. Like, people wasn't even trying to hear what they was offering for some of madness. It wasn't until uh, the Ace and Nitty battle plus the Disaster versus Sick battle got dropped. Those two announcements that some people were kind of like, okay... It feel like Summer Madness now. I don't know why those two battles made it feel like Summer Madness. I didn't think there was nothing wrong with the card originally. But when you're asking people to pay a certain amount, they got the right to feel their own way, right? But anyway, um, yeah, next week for the week of Summer Madness, they're going to be dropping joints every day, starting on Monday. Um, it's just a matter of what battles they're going to be putting up. So I guess it's not going to be a for now on type of thing. Who knows? They might do this again in the future, though. But Black Market Media, you know, who's responsible for their camera production and all of that. Um, before every joint on the app, you see their logo pop up on the screen. And then you hear Smack say, yo, JV, play that mother movie, son. Those guys, right? So on their page, they posted the details. They laid out all the details and telling um, this thing they call Battle Week. So they say, beginning on Monday, August 21st, the Ultimate Rap League will return to YouTube, dropping exclusive battles from the UIL app every day of the week, leading up to Summer Madness, ticket giveaways to attend Summer Madness 13 live in Houston, exclusive interviews with your favorite battlers and the battle coaches lead a smack, chances to win free pay-per-view access for Summer Madness 13, trivia contests with cash prizes, and much, much more. Uh, Willis might try to win him a cash prize or something. You know what I mean? Since y'all offering. Nah. But um, the only questions that are left are what battles would they be putting up? I see people typing in the comments of what battles they feel like they're going to put up there. Now, obviously, it's going to have to be some dope battles, right? It's going to have to be some classic battles. You know what I mean? Because I can't see them saying, yo, y'all better keep a lookout. We can really start dropping some joints on YouTube. We coming back, baby. We coming back. And then it'd be some, what? Like a a, a Sheed Happens versus a, a True Foe or something like that. No disrespect to them because I think they both fire. But y'all understand my point. If y'all going to do make all this noise about putting some battles on YouTube, coming back to YouTube after all this time, it got to be some fire. It got to be some classic joints. Some of y'all most highest viewed battles on the app. You know what I mean? But um, I see Jazz, right? She was one of the first ones to kind of react from a battler's perspective. And she was like, yo, I hope I'm on that drop list. Because what do these battlers want from the URL? They want a decent pay. And they be saying, multiple of them done said... I wouldn't mind having a battle on YouTube. That's how a lot of these battles got known. You know what I mean? Jazz, she don't even need it. She solidified. She cemented. A lot of these battlers, this day and age, they don't even need to drop on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But I guess it's just another accolade because there's so many battles that are classic that are on that app, fam, that if they got dropped on YouTube, it wouldn't take too long for them to hit that milli. Now, I mean, that's what Easy's problem was with them. From what, from what I understand, that was his main thing. And that's why he took his talents to South Beach. You understand? And look what happened with that situation, which brings me to my next thing, fam. A lot of people feel like if it had not been for Easy, the URL wouldn't even be doing this. A lot of people... 
they even commented, replied to Jazz after she said what she said. And it was like, yo, you better think easy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Feel like if, if it wasn't for easy to block Captain in the situation that happened, the URL would not be dropping battles on no YouTube. Do y'all agree with that? I could see it having a little bit to do with it, but I don't think it would be solely because of that. I really feel like it's them just making a play to try to get the fans back in their good graces. You know what I'm saying? Well, them trying to get in good graces with the fans. Trying to get back right because it's been a critical time for the URL. A lot of people just ain't been feeling nothing they've been doing. You understand? Been real rocky for them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Smack saying in his interview with DNA, he was like, y'all don't love me no more. Y'all want to hate me or whatever. You know, he was saying stuff like that. So I feel like this is just a move for them to try to get people to you know, to try to show them love to come back over to the URL side because it's been more about RBE than it's been about the URL. You know what I mean? But I could be wrong, though. Understand? So let me ask y'all, how much of Easy's situation do y'all think has to do with the URL putting battles on YouTube? Coming back to YouTube after all this time, Dropping these joints from the URL TV app. How much you think it has to actually do with Easy and the situation he had with them? And what battles do y'all feel like they probably gonna drop? Leave y'all comments and all that. Realest one I'm on.